Thank you for joining us. We're here today with Chaba Shepasvari, who's a professor at the University of Alberta and a fellow at the Alberta Machine Intelligence Institute. Chaba is an expert in reinforcement learning theory, focusing his work on improving algorithms efficiency and effectiveness. Chaba, thanks so much for joining us today. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm wondering if you can start by telling us a little bit about your research interests. Well, I'm interested in sequential decision making and the uncertainty and uh, how to do that in an efficient way with computers. This area is known as reinforcement learning that I'm working on, uh, gaining uh, rapid popularity uh, during the last couple of years. And uh, my focus is on, on the theoretical aspects of this problem, uh, how to scale up things, under what assumptions can you scale up algorithms, uh, what are the limitations of what algorithms can do in this space, this sort of thing. Really fascinating stuff. I'm really interested in reinforcement learning. Can you maybe tell us a little bit about uh, a particular research avenue or a particular project that you're really excited about these days? One of the directions that's uh, particularly interesting is uh, when you assume that you have a functional approximation technique available to you and uh, you got this promise that the functional approximator, like a neural network, uh, will be able to capture just the optimal value function. So the optimal value function is this uh, usually really high dimensional object. If you have a, a huge uh, decision-making problem, uh, that captures essentially everything that you want to know about uh, how to make optimal decisions. And you would hope that if you have a functional approximator that is able to approximate this high dimensional object, you should be able to do well, either when it comes to learning or planning uh, or optimization. And uh, it turns out that there are very interesting open theoretical questions uh, surrounding this. If we did have more, more powerful, more efficient search algorithms uh, and planning algorithms, rather, what sort, of, what sort of work would this enable or what would it allow us to do in other, in other domains? Uh, so reinforcement learning has a lot of applications, a lot of potential applications, I would say. Uh, and the only thing that stops us uh, from applying reinforcement learning to many of these domains is uh, one, to come up with some efficient simulators, and then two, to come up with an algorithms that are able to use these efficient simulators uh, in a way that it is able to come up with uh, good policies that you could execute them in the real world. Um, and so I'm working on the second aspect of the problem, and uh, there are like many, many uh, different applications, you know, like the common ones are driving, uh, vehicles, autonomous driving of vehicles, uh, even automating productions in, I don't know, big production lines and uh, various kinds of operations, research problems, and so, so forth. So in many ways, this is about, you know, decision making and, and control of, you know, different uh, real physical assets and those sorts of things. That's right. Well, thank you so much for uh, sharing your knowledge with us on reinforcement learning and, and some of the work that you've done. Uh, thanks very much for your time today, Chaba. You're welcome.